Room Desiver Room Desiver, Development Code GS5734, is a novel antiviral drug in the class of nucleotide analogs. It was developed by Gilead Sciences as a treatment for Ebola virus disease and Marburg virus infections, though it has subsequently also been found to show antiviral activity against other single-stranded RNA viruses such as respiratory syncytial virus, Hunin virus, Lassa fever virus, Nipah virus, Hendra virus, and the coronaviruses, including MERS and SARS viruses. It is being studied for SARS-CoV-2 and Nipah and Hendra virus infections. Based on success against other coronavirus infections, Gilead provided Remdesivir to physicians who treated an American patient in Snohomish County, Washington infected with SARS-CoV-2 and is providing the compound to China, to conduct a pair of trials in infected individuals with and without severe symptoms. Research Usage Laboratory tests suggest Remdesivir is effective against a wide range of viruses, including SARS-CoV and MERS-CoV. The medication was pushed to treat the West African Ebola virus epidemic of 2013 to 2016. Although the drug turned out to be safe, it was not particularly effective against filoviruses such as the Ebola virus. Ebola virus Remdesivir was rapidly pushed through clinical trials due to the West African Ebola virus epidemic of 2013 to 2016, eventually being used in at least one human patient despite its early development stage at the time. Preliminary results were promising and it was used in the emergency setting during the Kivu Ebola epidemic that started in 2018 along with further clinical trials, until August 2019, when Congolese health officials announced that it was significantly less effective than monoclonal antibody treatments such as MAB-114 and Regni B3. The trials, however, established its safety profile. Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2 in response to the 2019-20 coronavirus outbreak induced by coronavirus SARS-CoV-2, Gilead provided remdesivir for a small number of patients in collaboration with Chinese medical authorities for studying its effects. Gilead also started laboratory testing of remdesivir against SARS-CoV-2. Gilead stated that remdesivir was shown to be active against SARS and MERS in animals. In late January 2020, Remdesivir was administered to the first U.S. patient to be confirmed to be infected by SARS-CoV-2, in Snohomish County, Washington, for compassionate use after he progressed to pneumonia. While no broad conclusions were made based on the single treatment, the patient's condition improved dramatically the next day, and he was eventually discharged. Also in late January 2020, Chinese medical researchers stated to the media that an exploratory research considering a selection of 30 drug candidates, three of them, Remdesivir, Chloroquine and lopinavir slash ritonavir, seem to have fairly good inhibitory effects on SARS-CoV-2 at the cellular level. Requests to start clinical testing were submitted, and on February 6, 2020 a clinical trial of remdesivir began in China. Other Viruses The active form of remdesivir, GS441524, shows promise for treating feline coronavirus. Mechanism of Action and Resistance Remdesivir is a prodrug that metabolizes into its active form GS441524. GS441524 is an adenosine nucleotide analog that confuses viral RNA polymerase and evades proofreading by viral exoribonuclease, exon, causing a decrease in viral RNA production. It was unknown whether it terminates RNA chains or causes mutations in them. However, it has been learned that the RNA-dependent RNA polymerase of Ebola virus is inhibited for the most part by delayed chain termination. Mutations in the mouse hepatitis virus RNA replicase that causes partial resistance were identified in 2018. These mutations make the viruses less effective in nature, and the researchers believe they will likely not persist where the drug is not being used. Synthesis Remdesivir can be synthesized in multiple steps from ribose derivatives. The figure below is one of the synthesis route of remdesivir invented by Chun et al. from Gilead Sciences. In this method, intermediate A is firstly prepared from L-alanine and phenylphosphorodichloridate in presence of triethylamine and dichloromethane, triple benzyl protected ribose is oxidized by dimethyl sulfoxide with acetic anhydride and gibolactone intermediate B, pyrolytriazin 4 amine is brominated and the amine group is protected by excess trimethylsilyl chloride. N-butyl lithium undergoes a halogen lithium exchange reaction with the bromide at minus 78 degrees Celsius to yield the intermediate C. 
the intermediate B is then added to a solution containing intermediate C dropwise. After quenching the reaction in a weakly acidic aqueous solution, a mixture of 1, 1 enomers was obtained. It was then reacted with an excess of trimethylsilyl cyanide and dichloromethane at minus 78 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Trimethylsilyl triflate was added and reacts for an additional 1 hour, and the mixture was quenched in an aqueous sodium hydrogen carbonate. A nitrile intermediate was obtained. The protective group, benzyl, was then removed with boron trichloride and dichloromethane at minus 20 degrees Celsius. The excess of boron trichloride was quenched in a mixture of potassium carbonate and methanol. A benzyl-free intermediate was obtained. The isomers were then separated by a reversed phase HPLC. The optically pure compound and intermediate air reacted with trimethylphosphate and methylamidazole to obtain a diastereomer mixture of remdesivir. In the end, optically pure remdesivir can be obtained through methods such as chiral resolution or can be obtained.